I don't know. I don't think a nigga point up to God. Like, I don't know what that <laughs> meant. Just, uh, I guess oh. it means you're recorded. Um, hey, what's going on? Podcast lands. It's Don Peasley. Alongside of LaShawn. It's another beautiful day. Have what's a good guy. Now, I want to shout out to y'all for being here, tapping in with us, um, letting LA tap on you. That yeah. is not true. We are not going to do that. <laughs> we are not going to do that. Nah, LaShawn but, is not tapping on nothing. Nah, but we... Um, on no one. Sorry. It's my grandma. <laughs> we going to start calling LA's room, dark up the place. <laughs> just, just throw that out there. But um, My sheets are nice, though. <laughs> right, we're not, we not going to do another episode. We talk about your sheets. 100, 100 I ordered 100. these sheets that look like clouds. Mm-hmm. That shit's so sexy, Roy. That shit's so <laughs> sexy. So the room is black, obviously. Mm-hmm. But they got these white clouds. It's, it's fluff the pillows. I got throw pillows, two throw pillows, four big p- pillows, a big ass California king duvet. But it looked like a cloud. You just gotta leave it for like 24 hours. Let it fluff up. Oh my god, that shit's so soft. I see why. This is gonna be foul. But I see why. Oh, let me yeah, see. Go ahead. <laughs> I see why when I used to uh, release. People used to, the women that I was with mm-hmm. would say, don't get it on my sheets. Now I get it. I was flagrant. I put it in your sheets, your towel. <laughs> don't you dare do that on my, I won't, I, I think having my own bed, I don't even master me because I don't want that stuff to get on these nice sheets. That, that, oh my God, man. The sleep, whoo. <laughs> this nigga just went on a rant by him, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I get sh- it. shout out to the fellas in the building, I man. I get it. Uh, Squirrely Owens. This thing is wildin'. Squirrely Owens in the building. <laughs> Mr. Sandez in the building. Mr. No Widow's in the building. Mm. I like that. I thought it was no best. But it, it's, it's, well, on, no, it's, it's, it's on brand, though. I like it. Um, if you're wondering, I don't have sunscreen on today, so. I do. Wear your um, sunscreen, black men. Drink your water. Stay hydrated. It's, good. it's a good Be thing. Fly. It's a good thing, white man. I ain't <laughs> doing none of that right now, actually. Huh? You not hydrated? I'm not hydrated. I don't got no sunscreen. <laughs> my sunscreen is my sun kit is immaculate. Matter of fact, you see that black bag behind you, Kwani? Throw that over here. Oh. This is my skincare routine. You want to see it, guys? Well, that's what the ladies be having to suffer. Yeah, but shout out to you. Have women in your life, you gonna automatically upgrade everything. And right here is my six step. Skincare, maybe five, maybe seven. Skincare routine. So right now, right? She ain't got a toner. This is not an ad. <laughs> this is not an ad. <laughs> right? This is a cleansing oil, right? Mm-hmm. So I double cleanse, right? This is a cleansing oil. No matter fact, I start with a moisturizing peeling gel mm-hmm. and get all the dirt off, right? Then I do a cleansing oil, open up the pores, and I do a cleansing foam. It gets in the pores, right? And I let that dry off a little bit. Then I use a, a, a sheet, but I don't bring that with me. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I put a nice sheet on. Then I put the toner. I told you, I told you had a toner. <laughs> right? You gotta have a toner. Then I put the, the serum. Yeah, this here. Oh, That's the only thing that go on my face. Hey, hey yo. yo. But a good serum, you know what I'm saying? Fellas, don't let nobody sit on your face without a serum. <laughs> then, lotion. And after that, sunscreen. And, and that's, you and, know, you got to keep the face clean. And so that's your why boy, who you have are the top three. Front, that's a, you got to have a lot of time for that, though. And that's you why you're top three. When I do the sheet, the night routine is even crazier. Because I got a, I got a, uh, a four-hour mask that I sleep on. Go on the top, go on the bottom. You got to have good skin, man. I'm a well-groomed nigga, bro. I don't let my pubic hair grow too much. Underarm hair gone. <laughs> T.O. Legs shaved. I, I like to be well groomed. I like to smell good. I like to take my vitamins, drink my water, so eventually I taste good to other people. You know. <laughs> Look, I, I'm in front. When you're doing the episode, when you're doing this cut, I want you to zoom in on Kwani's face. That shit didn't change five minutes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, take that. That's a part of my routine. Mm-hmm. That brings me pleasure. A good skincare routine. Now I use Korean skincare because they don't use a. Uh, a lot of chemicals that are approved in America aren't approved out, uh, out of seas, overseas. Yeah, I got a Korean face mask. So, see? Yeah. Yup. So I'll be fucking with the Korean skincare. See, mine's very simple. Yeah, nah, it's simple, but I'm, I'm simpler than LA, for yeah, sure. I, I, I don't have, have a, a seven-step. I have a face scrub, 
I always say I God, and, God and water. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I, don't know that. I, know, I got a little, I got a little something extra in there. A little bit of God and water, man. Nah, yeah. I, 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 keep it, I keep it, um, I have Scotch Porter and I have a few other just random Shout things. Just Scotch Porter, yeah, yeah, facts, facts. So yeah, I like, I like doing my skincare routine and my teeth, mm -hmm. you know, it's extensive. Now in my, my bathroom, mm -hmm. I have like the automatic uh, mouthwash dispenser mm -hmm. and the, uh, the automatic hand soaps. So I put my hand here, you know? You see, Edie, you just tell her go to the bathroom real quick? Huh? huh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta wash your hands before you eat pussy. You know, brush your teeth before you eat pussy. Uh, yo, bro, hold, yo, let's go back to the rest. What's going on, man? <laughs> oh, we getting, it's getting dirty here. Is it? Nah. It's uh, getting hot. You getting hot in the drawers, brother. <laughs> Now you got cleaning, you got to be cleaning the drawers, you know? Good hygiene, lady. Lady, stop dealing with these niggas that don't have a skincare routine. Apply <laughs> pressure. Shout out to Nurse Bay. Let <laughs> <laughs> see, there's so many nurses that listen to the podcast. Nobody gonna know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Let's see some shit like, oh, I thrust, I don't want to thrust you like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but um. <laughs> now this episode is brought to you by Kwani. Kwani brought up a. Uh, so why's Kwani bring us on there today? Kwani only uh, provided for the women. I got. I got I'm set good. <laughs> In fact, Kwani don't care about us no more. It's Sunday, New York women. That's a good thing. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That that's that might be smart. Yeah. But I'm sorry. It's crazy. A certain shift happened at a certain time, but I ain't gonna say nothing, brother. It's all good. Huh? He started canning a certain, it's around a certain time. Yeah. After the two hand salute was up, we lost him. Go on. We still love you here. We still love you. I don't know if he love us, but you know, we still yeah, love you. Yeah, it's all right. You know, brothers gotta get their jokes off. <laughs> sorry, man. But nah, sorry. Cardi put something in a group chat about, uh, he asked us if we ever did an episode about providing. And we've touched on it, mm -hmm. you know, but I don't think we've ever dedicated a full episode about providing so what's what what uh what drew you to asking us about that um this was around that time that that clip was going around about uh that guy i forgot i forget his name he they're, they're not necessarily important it's more so i guess the um the the dynamic they have which is from the outside looking in she makes most of the money mm -hmm. and he he does a few things here and there but he doesn't make as much as her on the outside looking in so it's assumed that she pays most of everything mm -hmm. and then he was talking about how, um, I guess, being a provider is more so just more than financial. It's not necessarily just coming home and paying the bills. You got to have some emotional intelligence. You got to take care of things. You got to know things. Just what that's mostly what he was saying. He was getting smoked out because of that <laughs> on a timeline. Let's tie this to Twitter, bro. Yeah. The people that was smoke, if people that was smoking him out, right? Would you say that they all had the same aesthetic? This is your platform. <laughs> so I would say, I would say, I mean, it was a, it was a, a specific group that was. Um, and they all kind of match each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a small little. Group you stay away from those. Internet group. Yeah, you stay, you group. stay away from those. Can we get those. a little bit more specific or no? Nah, I mean like, social media is a lot of uh, group thinking, group following, Facts. group aesthetic. Mm. <laughs> all their pictures are starting to look the same. It's uh. It's uh, low ISO, very dark. Mm -hmm. Very, very, mo very moody. Ah, the low exposure. The low exposure, you know. Gotcha. For one picture, one picture, they pose regular. Next picture's a quote. Next picture, they have bent over. Next oh, picture's a video. The a blur. video. And the blur. And the blur, uh, yeah. Okay. And then the last picture's them like this. <laughs> that friends probably like 20 oh people. <laughs> yeah, it's right. usually the same aesthetic, right? And then it's usually the same group thinking on what a man should do. Mm -hmm. Now, what you want for you is That's what you. you want for you. Can't blame you. Can't blame me. But you. I don't want you. But I know that I am not your guy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because the the financial aspect of providing, yes, that's... That's common. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's uh, that's no, mm -hmm. right? But I feel like women who only look for the financial aspect is gonna disregard or neglect the other aspects that I think are important. And I don't want to put myself in a position where I do anything mm -hmm. and I feel feel like I'm not gonna be valued because it's not about 
how much I spend. Mm -hmm. So I kind of stay away. You are allowed to have your thoughts. I just know I'm not for you. What about you, bro? You're oh. young, though. I yeah. just realized that you're still 26. Yeah, 26, So you're now this year. experiencing, I guess, what we saw, what we had to navigate. I think it's a lot more pressure for you. It's, it's worse now. Yeah, no, yeah, it's worse for you now because back then, I think, what was a nice gift back in the days that was kind of... <laughs> Well, when Pandora I was 20, man? when what I was back in Pandora the ring or something, yeah, that, that, that you could have got far with a pick. Yeah, good luck. I seen somebody get somebody up some Pandora. Nah, you get a little, like, you get a little charm far. bracelet, go yeah. crazy for a little year. Yeah, what was that other one? Uh, Alex and uh, Alex, Alex and Annie. That, that was a nice my cousin, gift. My cousin used to love that shit. That was a nice yeah. gift. Now it's Van Cleef. Oh God! Now, yeah, that is tough. I mean, you was you was you was you went to the fucking the rooftop shit the other day. Which one? You? Oh, that, squirrel shit. Yeah, yeah. Like my cousin, like. She used to love Alex Ani. Oh my God, bro! For her birthday, she got. Oh, I seen it was a um Eliante bag. I was like, Oh wait, that whole presentation that went yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, When the fuck do we graduate to this? I was like, Dude, That's final form, bro. <laughs> Bro, that used to get you far, you know what I'm saying? Well, Apple biscuits. Now you got to, now you got to, now you got to get a, now you got to hit up squares for a certain reservation yeah, at certain yeah. restaurants. Go to catch or something. You know why? Like, because of the picture, you got to right. show that you was there. Uh -huh. Purple clouds. The purple, purple clouds. The purple clouds. The purple clouds. The, purple clouds. Yeah, cool. the, the blue hue. <laughs> if you, you know when the girls do the picture with the nails in front of the teeth? You know the veneer agenda. Oh, he even <laughs> waiting to get, get, get that one off. That one so bad. <laughs> But I, I do feel like um, all these things are true, but I think it, it starts with the guy, though. You got to understand who you like. What do you want and what does providing look like for you? Because providing looks like a lot of things. And that's one way providing lo looks. But if that's not you, then I mean that you know where to go. You just yeah. filter out your filter out what it is I that you want to like, do. Damn, I don't want to make it sound so bad, but date what, date what you can afford. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. woman you want. You may not be able to afford her, and when you are able to afford her, you may not want her. So a woman never made you feel like, nah, I gotta go get some money. I gotta get up and no. go do something. <laughs> I, I, oh, man. Yeah, I feel like nah. I, no I've oh. seen, yeah, I've on. seen, yeah. I've seen a woman before. It's not that I don't. It's not that I don't have enough money to approach her. It's more so like, nah, I, to do what I want to do and to really. I gotta get some. I gotta get How some. Do you, you said to do what you want to do. You don't even. They, no, 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 no. I know, right? Girls understands. You don't even say. I understand what you're saying. Y'all you probably saying. looking at it some, some other no, 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 type no, no, of way. No, 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 no. I just want to ask. But yeah, let's let's break it down. You don't even know what she wants. Yeah, facts. You're just going off of her look. Yeah. So you already preconceived. Said, damn, bro. She. I gotta get my money up the fuck with her. On the grid, she got three valid Chanelis, bro. She got all this other shit. Like, yo. But that's like old passion. Right, it could I be, said, it, I what's, said, what's that website? <laughs> uh, uh, DH Gate, right? Yep. So, so it, it could be all that. But no, you might not want to fuck with a girl who's doing that. Anyway, I'm just saying, you already in your mind have said, oh, she costs this much to fuck with. And that might be the wrong mentality. No, no, no. no. Oh. See, I don't, I, my bad, before you go, <laughs> I'm not looking at it like that. Mm. I said what I want to do. This is not anything oh, about okay. her. It's oh, more so oh, how you I want to pull You want to add to what you have seen. But based no, on it's what not you, about what I've I, seen. It's no, no, more no, no, so no, no, how no. I oh. want to court and how I want to do things. That's how I want to pull up. <laughs> okay. Wait, <laughs> go ahead. And listen. I have, before you go, I got one more question. Is, go ahead. Is this mentality that you're discussing, is that same across the board? Or does it change depending based on, on Thank you, Joe. Woman. Thank you, Joe. Based upon, it is I mean, not. it's the same. Uh, the... Certain things are the same across the board. Mm -hmm. But you've met a woman that is like, nah, she's diff. She's different. <laughs> she's different. What is LA? LA, 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 LA. So I'm bugging I, want, I, want LA, I get it. Nah, I get where he's coming from. Uh -huh. Sometimes you see somebody, you're like, God damn. Yeah. I, I want to, I, so I need to pick you up in this. We need to go here. This is what we need to do. And then sometimes reality hits you and says, you know, can you really afford that bad bitch? Hmm? But you. you <laughs> All right, LA, you, yeah, I, I don't. Cause you over here fidgeting. He is fidgeting. Oh, I'm saying this. Bro, my, if my, if, if whoever I'm, if whoever I'm with, yeah, yeah, brainwashed. Not, not, I don't think I'm brainwashed. It's more so if I'm not necessarily motivated. Or, I feel like my woman has to motivate me, or if I look at you, I have to be motivated to go to go out and go get something, go get some money, or go do something. Like mm -hmm. I can't just be 
looking at you and like, oh, this is cool. I'm all right. The like, woman determines she that. Got she got to make me motivated. That's crazy, though. That, that, that's, that's the why, thing. That's why, I'm not why. saying y'all are taking it in totality. I'm just saying I have to have that feeling, too. Uh, on top of everything else, I would love to have that feeling when I look to at you. To provide for her? Like, I, yes. want you, I want you to be comfortable. Yes. Right. It's a feeling I want you to I'm be... not using all these buzzwords <laughs> and all that stuff. I'm you just want saying. Her to be, now, you, see, now, you, now, you, now you're using your voice. Uh -huh. That's why you're using your voice, my <laughs> I hear it like, on like, audio, no, <laughs> Y'all was defensive. Y'all was, <laughs> <defensive, laughs> <y 'all> was, <laughs> <defensive, laughs> was defensive off rip. So we, I have to fight through that. But what I'm saying is, if I look at a woman and I'm thinking long term, because mm -hmm. I've done, I've seen a woman on the train and I'm like, oh, wow, I could picture a life. And if in that life, I'm not picturing me like working and going out to get it and being a provider, I don't really want to go up and talk to Where you. Where you, okay, because you saw her on the train, right? That's an example. Versus, this is all nah, my that's, that's a perfect he can, example. He can, he can, he can, he with the you example. saw her yeah. on the train yeah. versus you seeing her. In traffic. In a, in a, in a, oh, in, no, in a six series. Would that determine how much money you got to go get? If I see her on the train yeah. as opposed to seeing her in a six series? Yeah. yeah. She in an eight, matter of fact. Nah, <laughs> I don't think so. I don't necessarily think so. Okay, that's what I was trying to figure out. Yeah, no, nah, I don't know. Okay. Bro, you know me. Yes, you know me in real life. You. Come on. But see, that's what I'm saying. I, knowing, knowing, okay, so for example, oh, how can I say this? I used to date a girl who, uh, her profession had her around millionaires a lot. Mm -hmm. And her bosses used to take the train all the time. But they lived on, they lived on, on, what's after Fifth? In the city? Yeah. It's, it's Lex, Fifth, and oh, Park, Park. Madison. Park. Park, Madison. Oh, they lived Park. on Park. Yeah. Anybody know you living on Park? Yeah. You I. Right. It's up. It's up. <laughs> Ain't no I right over there. But they take, <laughs> but they take the train. Because uh -huh. it makes more sense. Yeah, it Not because so, it's cost so efficient. Me, it just me makes more seeing sense. a woman on the train versus me seeing on a six is not going to determine, oh, I could take her there versus I need to take her there. Now, do I know the life, the, the lifestyle that she is trying to live or persuade? This is why social media is a dangerous thing, right? Because I could see a woman and think she's mad expensive just, just off the lifestyle that she presents online, right? Until I found out people were ordering designer bags off of Amazon just to post them. That is crazy. Crazy. Those type of so people. you I've seen I've seen some fire on Canal. I was like, oh no, this niggas is, these niggas are going bad. <laughs> so, so I post my I, ju bags. I just you just you just can't get caught up on what you see until you get to talk to the person. Then you realize, I bet we not a match because the lifestyle you want, the superficial person. I'm not even gonna say woman because we're gender neutral here. <laughs> the superficial person you choose to date. Nerd. If that is what they see value in, mm -hmm. I know I can't provide that. Mm -hmm. I can, but I can't. Because that is going to take away from the things that I'm, I'm good at as well. Mm -hmm. So, nah, so, I, just, I, I just stay away from the, superfi the so, superficial shit. So coming from somebody <laughs> like me, you know me. Uh -huh. You know the things I like. Uh -huh. you, know what car, you know what car I drive. Uh -huh. You know what I'm trying you to do. You didn't always drive that car, though. I never drove no no other shit. Like I drove something nice before. It was the, that year, and I drove something else that year. So it's you know the type of life I'm trying to have and what I'm trying <laughs> to do, on, right? Keep cooking, bro. So if that's what I want for myself, and I see a young woman that I would love to have that life with, why would I not think I need some more money to go and go get so I could maintain all that and do all that? I'm motivated now to go do that so I can mm -hmm. provide. How is that? Or how is that some crazy business? Nobody said it was crazy, right? I just think the approach and the mindset of it is too her driven. No, I said me. You know me in real life. You know well, the things saying, that I he's like. He's saying that she's the motivation. Though. That's what he's saying. Though. I it's feel not like sustainable. yeah. I, I, I've been there. You you got a couple more years to go. Even even when you get the money, like I'm not saying. By 30, you won't even be up more than you are now. He will be. I just don't think that is the mo that would be the motivating factor. It's not, though. We started off the conversation talking about a specific thing, so we're in a specific you, conversation. You think that I'm trying to uh, focus it on the woman. I'm telling you the drive is going to... The, the, the motivating factor of the drive is going to change. Because if you're going to do that for a woman, you're going to do that regardless, right? 
It's not about that. But, right. So you're going to get the money whether you're with her or without her. You want to yeah. bring somebody into your atmosphere and have it flourishing. You want a, a weld oil machine. I'm not going to want to get the machine to be even more oiled because I'm with a girl. Or a man. <laughs> or awesome. I'm Huh? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I don't think it's sustainable. Well, that's if you're, like, spending money on her every single day. That's not what I'm but talking about. Mean, no, it's not. Okay, I think we're talking about... Maybe I'm not communicating it the correct way, but... All right, so let me... I'm going yeah. to just act, ask you a direct yeah, question. Go ahead. What is your version of providing? So, for me, and where I see providing, and what, what it makes sense for me is... um, For two people that's living in a house... Uh, who, We've got to go uh, with the financial. Who makes more, and then kind of figure it out. Nah, use that same it. voice when you felt when you was yeah. fighting through it, huh? Use the same. Use the same voice when you was defending yourself. I don't have to. Not right now. Until you <laughs> ask another question, <laughs> then maybe. Sicko. But um, but I think it, I think it's really case by case. But for me, like I said, um, I guess seeing what financially makes the most sense as a man, I think I would want to take on most of the financial responsibility. I don't know what it is. I think it's just a just a guy thing or just what mm -hmm. I've seen um, as opposed to like... 50-50? I don't necessarily... 50-50 uh, is cool depending on what it is, but like... 70 not for everybody. Not It's not for everybody <laughs> and not everything. It's so case what, you going, by what case. number are you going for? 70-30? <laughs> it depends. Like for right now, my situation... My girl graduates in two years. She's going to be making a hefty amount of money. So I work for myself. I have my companies and I do what I do. So how I'm looking at it is I have this time until then to either match that or to surpass that. So it could you be. You feel your better. value is less to her if you don't in two I, years? I knew he was going to get that Absolutely shit. Absolutely not. Hell no. So, what, so why is that even a thought then? Because why I not stay on. I feel like you're. Is, it, is that a motivator or something? That's what I'm saying. What motivates you guys? Can I ask you that? My peace and happiness. But okay. I don't feel like you there yet. So what? If, so what if my peace and happiness is me taking care of stuff? Then that's. I mean, that's true. That's, I guess then that's, yeah, that's so like, well, yeah. So like, like, we got to be open to other sides of things because it seems like we're not. I'm open to your side because I've been there at 26. But you've been, you said since you've met me, I'm older than what's on paper. So what if I've thought about this and I've thought this fully through and I fully came up well, with this? Where you got this logic from? Well, dating. Um, who you dated? Yeah, who I've dated, who I've spoken to. I speak to my uncle. Um, I've seen different things. I've seen how the woman in my family are versus women. I've seen the split in my, in my family, like how certain women are and how certain women aren't. That's like a firsthand view of how things are. Mm -hmm. Seeing how... Because when you look back on your childhood, you get to see, like, okay, my aunt was like that because of this, or my cousin was like this because of that. And you kind of mm -hmm. think about things on a whole, a holistic view, and you kind of get to see, okay, mm -hmm. when they were dating, uh, how did their dating life look? How, does, how did that look for everybody? When they were married, it looks like this, and it was a peaceful household, or it was a more chaotic. And you just kind of look at things, and you kind of want a roadmap of where you would want so, your life to look like. So with providing in a relationship or in a marriage or anything like that, what is most important? But most important, yeah. financial. That's what you gonna learn. That's the I don't. Bro, I'm for not you gonna learn. For that, life, okay. you gonna learn. Life is. I'm like, yeah, it's it's up, it's, it's, it's up there. there. So it's I'm not there. about to downplay like it's nothing, bro. Life is easier when you have the money. Oh, but what if, what if, right. what if, what if God forbid, the, the, the woman cheating on you? That's not. That's not. You know what's funny? I mean, we going. I wasn't. Scrubs was it? I don't want to go over there, but it's like, yo, I was watching some shit. I don't know if it was a skit. If it was a skit, I try not to play into those shits like that, but. There was a skit where this, I don't know if it was a skit. I think it was in Your Close Friends. Where this, this <laughs> nigga said he, he provided so much for her, right? It was his close, close friends. And she cheated on him because his dick was, was, wasn't good and she suggested the rhino pill. But they were having this argument in front of his boys. Mm -hmm. Cause I think his boys kind of put his boys put him on to that shorty was cheating, mm -hmm. right? So, he pressed her in front of her boys, and he was like, bless you. And he was like, yo, I invested into your business. I did this, I did that, the this and that. And she was like, yo, the dick ain't dicking. You want to have this conversation in front of everybody? I'm going to tell you in front of your boys. Your dick ain't good. I suggested the rhino pill. I suggested the honey pack. You wasn't with it. 
So I'm yes, I'm happy that you put invested all of this into me, but I'm not satisfied. So what good is the money then? And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna now you don't have to increase your voice to defend no, your penis. No. I don't want to know. But <laughs> talking about the money at that point, if that was the case, I'm pretty sure he was doing a lot of other mindful things. He was being considerate, thoughtful, all the emotional intelligence. But the one thing his she mentioned his dick wasn't good. Yeah. So okay, cool, take the money out. You're still doing all what you're supposed to do, but your dick's still not good. And she but, still cheated. So then why is the money looked at as so negative and this and that? Because you know why? Else, could, you know why? You know why? On an equal this is why I say field, that. Because but we're talking about providing money. You have to, when you're with somebody, you have to really figure out what they want. Yeah. Because he provided everything yeah. that he thought was the deciding factors of what he should do. Yeah. But what he, what he packed in the pockets was low between the legs. So should've she went out S way. Should have got a DDL. Huh? <laughs> if he had the money, he should have. He, but I guess, I, right, I don't want to take away the. Yeah. In all actuality, also, you should just know what your partner want, and provide that, because, yeah, you got to figure out. It's the it's the same corny conversation of the love language, right? If somebody's love language is physical touch and you don't hold their hand or you don't rub their hair or you don't do whatever a bunch of a bunch of physical things that they like, they still gonna feel deprived of yeah of that no matter how much money you giving them or yeah. how much you spend or a person with quality time, quantity you could pull up with all the nice gifts and the flowers in the car and this that and the third and blah blah blah, but if she don't feel like she get time from you. Then she's still not gonna be happy. What you to, to make the relationship work, you should just know what is the biggest priority to the person. And if it is the financial, cool. But that's what I'm saying. I'm past the uh I'm past the superficial stage where, yeah, I could provide all of that, but that's but, not what I'm well, looking for. How is it superficial? I'm talking about like like a house, bro, like a place, like being comfortable in your 40s and 30s. Like that's that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about frivolous things like a like a bag or something like that. I'm thinking of getting money so I can I don't have to worry about bills in the future or whatever or worrying about taking care of a family. I don't want but anybody. But you to... see, the only reason why I say that is because you you mentioned that as a catalyst to who you're dating, not if you were single. Wait, what? So say you that? say you see, you will see a woman and say, I need to do this. I'm telling you, you don't need to see anybody still do it. I am. But if I see somebody and I want to have a future with them, I'm going to be motivated to do that because I, I, I see it. It's tangible. It's there. If I'm seeing it, it's there and I can do it. I'm going to be more motivated to do it. Now that I have somebody and it's in my head. Oh, yes. Yeah, up now. What about them is motivating you to get there? Well, bro, I'm an entrepreneur. I need motivation every day. So they're... They're feeding into me. They're giving. Like, if I don't have something, they're trying to get it from me. If I need to do something, they're trying to help me do it. Like it's a lot of things. I got a question. Would yeah. would the motivation be the same or more if you had a child before? Like, uh, would it, I'm talking about like a, not a like you know you know it happens, but you know you had a child with a girl that you yeah. didn't end up being with. Would your motivation be the same as far as that, or would it be more? I think it would be. It would probably be more because it's a child mm -hmm. and. Um, it's like it's not yeah it's not an adult it's a child so I'm looking after this child for like years and even after they're grown so it'll probably be a little bit more but I, I mean it's it's the same bro like I have it like if I see my family I got the, I get the same feeling that I want to go get some money and I want to take care of things and go take care of people so I don't think it's it's woman specific we just started on that foot so it yeah I, but, I hear you but I think it's more so just just who I am I want to be a provider. So if you, I, if I want you, to be a financial provider. It's not something that I see on social media. Outside of, do you know how to provide outside of financially? Yes, we're just talking. Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, we're just talking about financial right now. You can gather. Hmm. You can gather. <laughs> can I, I can use my hands. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas said I can hunt. You know how gather. to fish? Yeah. Squirrels, you know how to fish, right? I don't know how to. I never fish. fish. I'm not wondering. It's more so patience, but I, I can fish. Yeah. Go ahead. Do I have emotional intelligence. Yeah. I might want to go fishing. I ain't going to lie to you. If we, if we, if we all took like a fishing trip, it's a long be, game, though. That's fun. I mean, we could pot as we fish. You know? <laughs> but not like you know what's funny. Like I used to think like that too, to a certain degree. Now, like what what's important to me is shifting. 
And I look at like freedom and like control of my time is like super important. Yeah. I don't want to be the financial. I don't want to be the finance guy my whole life. It fucking sucks. <laughs> like being the guy that has to take care of everything financially is so annoying. I'd much rather empower everybody around me and they take care of me. I'm tired of this <laughs> shit. But uh, <laughs> like even like in a partner now, I'm like yo. I'd want somebody that can build something with that's sustainable and it can grow instead of me saying, like, yo, now I got to work 80 hours to take care of three or four kids, put them through this and that. Like, I don't want to take that financial burden myself. Fuck yeah, the I 50, think, 50 I think that's, the same, everything. that's the same thing my father did. That's why I said, uh, well, it goes to Kwani's point on what he saw, right? My father, it's safe to assume that he felt like he provided because he worked a lot and he paid for everything. Mm -hmm. But we never... I don't really know him like that, in a sense. You know what I'm saying? So, or my parents feel like because they provided a roof over my head, they did their job. And, and that, that's not to take away from them, but there's so many variables that kind of affected my adolescence that I'm kind of learning now as an adult because they, were, they thought the provision, the provision that they uh, provided was enough when it wasn't. Yeah. So I might trade... I might tell, like, the Saturdays where, he, where it was double overtime. Maybe he could have missed that and we could have hung out. You know what I'm saying? Or, 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 you know, instead of the free time that he had that he wanted for himself, I get it. Maybe I could have tagged along. Or, you know, some, some sort of social activity. So me growing up seeing the, just the financial part covered, I real, that was me realizing that's not enough as the, as the receiving end of it. So I know going forward when I have that family, like that's why I work, I'm working hard now because I don't actually have anybody to report to. So I can be selfish with my time and work a whole bunch of hours. But then when I get to the point where I have to devote my time or I feel like something or someone is worthy of my extra time, I know time is a little bit more important than all the financial activities. Cause yes, Life is a little bit easier. A little bit. Or less stress. Yeah, because there are other deciding factors that, that play into it. Like, yes, life is a little bit easier when bills are paid, everything. You don't have the, uh, the financial burden, but life is still life. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You still got to worry about health. There's a lot of things money can't buy with, with, with health. Um, time, peace, happiness. There are a lot of things that I would trade the money for. Love too. Love, facts, facts. Cause I used to think, I used to think, say th when I was around your age, and I used to see women that I was like, oh, I can't wait till I can afford her. I'm like, damn. You know what the problem is? How I know they gonna love me for me. Mm. You, you you had that conversation. That's when you said you start wearing your chains, your yep. rings, and yep. all that stuff. Yup, I start. Yup, I used to. They go get your glasses though. Uh, yeah, my glasses. Yeah, I still got a seat. You know what I'm saying? But I used to wear a lot of jewelry. But to be honest with you, I don't know where the hell my chain is at. No, I didn't get robbed. I have no idea where my chain is at. I had a, a nice ring. But then it was like, yo, how do I know? You want me for me. Yeah. And that's important to me. Because I know the financial. I, for me, it's because I know I could provide the financial that I care less about that. You know what I'm saying? This this. There's nothing I won't do or, or work to get. So I know I got that covered. But it's kind of the, the, the feeling on the inside that I'm, that I'm craving for more than, more than what I could do, you know? L.A. keeps saying, my fault's got you off. L.A. keeps saying your age, but at the same time, I, 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 understand, I understand what you're saying. I, I totally understand what you're saying. The reason why my mind has changed a little, a little bit is because that, that reference you brought up when you were on the plane, you were talking to that guy in first class, and he was like, yo... I make all this oh, money. Yeah. I don't get to see my family. It's yep. like, bro, like, as LA's talking about his pops, it's like, I, I ain't get to see, I don't know who my pops, I don't know who my pops is, bro. Yeah. Even me hanging out with my pops now, like, me and him, like, I, I think I said in the pod, nigga, we was watching a Bob Marley movie. He's like, oh, I grew up, I grew up in that tenement. I said, what the, nigga, you grew up around Bob Marley? He said, yeah, we used to play soccer. I'm like, bro, who, who the fuck are you, bro? I don't want to be that for my kids, bro. Yeah, fact. Like, that shit is scary. Like, yeah, I want to be fine. I want to be there for my kids financially. I want to be there for my wife, for my whole family financially, but it's like, Nigga, you gonna be in the crib with a stranger, but I don't want that for my I don't want that for my kids. I think that's my that's my biggest fear. Okay, that's understandable. Not my biggest fear, but you know what I mean. That's understandable. I, I think feel like, in a sense, hell yeah, the money's important as fuck. Your shorty, like, your shorty gotta be your your 
your best business partner. You gotta be an accountant sometimes. So she gotta. You gotta make your money. Gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta you understand, like, this shit is a relationship, is a true partnership. You gotta understand what they're good at, what I'm good at, and see if it mends well and try to make it work to the best of the abilities. Like, I think we gotta drown out the, social, the society pressures, and I'm not saying that's you, but I do feel like there is pressure on everybody to. There was a point in time, all right, so boom, back in the days, the woman felt like she had to stay home, cook, and clean. Now the women are working and making more. You, about, you said in two years, the women are, uh, uh, or in two years, she's going to make a lot of money. Mm-hmm. And in two years, you're going to try to match that or even go further, right? So that means that's less time for her to be in the kitchen. And if you're working, that's less time for you to be home. Who going to eat? So that's the thing, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to make enough that, for a show. That's, but like I keep saying, it's case by case. So the, all the things I'm doing now is to where, bro, I don't have to work when I'm 35. That's my goal right now. Mm-hmm. I don't have to work. I don't have to leave my house and I can still make the same amount of money that I'm doing mm-hmm. as if I'm going outside and doing all these things. So mm-hmm. the things I'm working on is so that I don't end up in a place like that. Maybe I'm too op- optimistic. I don't yeah, look nah, at nah, life. Nah, so nah, I don't look at life. You're not trying to shit on your optimism. So, you ain't trying to downplay what you, what you so, think. So, or but I, do I, think I think about I, the brighter side of things oftentimes. So I think that's where I leave. I just think that the conversation on providing, you meet a person where they at, and y'all try to ascend together, right? So when I meet somebody or when I do meet somebody, I'm going to meet them where they at. And then getting to know them, I'm going to figure out where they trying to go. It doesn't match with where I'm trying to go, right? So, damn. Not to shit. Boom. You're going to indulge too much. Yeah, I ain't going to indulge too much. But there's a reason why one of us here wouldn't date an older woman because she felt like, okay, she's close to this age. She's going to want kids. I don't want that. Right now. Right? You try to see where they're going. Be like, oh, I'm not trying to be there in two years. Mm. That's not what I want. Mm. Right? So you you that's where those you don't rush those conversations, but you they do to try like, to figure that out. You try to scout out what is the plan cause, here. Cause imagine five years later, oh I don't want kids. Oh you know I want nigga, I want three kids. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Now both of y'all wasted five years. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's a that's a that's a first two month conversation. I mean a lot I of people don't, don't the thing about it is though, a lot of people change their minds. No, that yeah, too. facts, of course. That yeah, too. they're allowed to. Um, facts. I have, I, think I, have gotta... that, I have a friend that literally was like, yo, I've been in a relationship for seven years. She wants to have kids. I literally don't want to have a kid anymore. Like, I, I don't know what you're telling me that for. Like, I, don't, I don't have a pussy, bro. You might as well talk to your lady, bro. <laughs> yo, what the hell? Like, I, you talk to your lady, bro. Like, you have to have those conversations. That's a tough conversation, It's though. tough as fuck, but it's like, yo... You don't, you don't, like, we talked we talk about our mans. Like, we told our mans in the chat. It's like, yo, bro, don't keep waiting. What you keep waiting for? That's true. Get the conversation. You got to get That's that shit true. done, bro. That's true. So what does providing look like for y'all? Individually or in a relationship? In a relationship. because you're. So in a relationship, it's a case-by-case study. What does it look like to you? I would, it would have to depend on the woman. Your ideal situation. My ideal situation changes with the woman. How? It's your ideal situation. Mm-hmm. It's nobody else's. It's your ideal one. So whatever you say, Go it goes. I mean, there is no ideal situation because you don't know what's going to happen. Like, say, like, I... Right. Nothing's really ideal. He's right. <laughs> I don't know. Now, like, in terms but, of this, I look, look, right? Say two years goes by, and now your woman is, uh, is the breadwinner, right? And, like, say, like, you know, she's making up to support the family and whatnot. Actually, no, it's a bad example. Let me move on from that. I had a decent one. But, like, all right, say, say... Say your woman is an entrepreneur in the family, right? And you have the day job. Yeah. Would you give up your day job to help her business? It's going somewhere? Oh, shit. I forgot you don't have a mic. <laughs> is it going somewhere? Like, is it an actual business? You somewhere? working for her will make you more money than your day job. I'm leaving my day job. So yesterday. But, but okay, but, but that's now she's not your providing. ideal situation. How not? Now, she, and now is, she, is she the provider? Or are you the provider at that point? She's the provider. I mean, yeah, yeah she's the provider. How would that make you feel? Bro, it's, if it works, it works. I'm my not, pr- my th- ego is go. not too That's big. Th- my th- my pride big and providing to... don't match. My pridefulness and, and providing aren't linear. So, 
When I was younger, I felt like, oh, I got to provide money, 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 because that's how I exert my dominance, right? Now, and it's like, okay, she may not, like, that's why I say, yo, I, I've met women, I've dated women where money is not a thing to them. They make just enough, they make enough to us like, if like, not more. But that's the thing, so they're not, they're not, not a, in survival mode. They're, they get to feel and live life because they have money. That's the first thing. You have to have so, money to get there. So then you negate the, the money aspect and then can you provide... There was a woman I dated, acts of service was her thing. So it didn't matter, it didn't matter if, well, yes, it did matter if the bills were paid, <laughs> but at the same time, she was more grateful. The head was better if the dishes was done, mm. opposed to if I paid the bills. Yeah, yeah it sounds good until support. it's time to um, do that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's, I, more, it's, more, it's more than just the financial security. And it's more than just the, that other stuff too. It's more than that. I, I put each thing on, a, on an equal playing field, but right now where I'm at in my life, Getting the money is more important to me than all. I mean, you gotta talk I, up, bro. I can't. I'm thinking. I'm talking right now. Nah, talk, it's, talk up. Talk up. Yeah, um, you gotta talk like up. Like I said, we're all that the emotional Same, intelligence. Bro. You the, said everything the, is linear. Everything is the same. Like you want the all, they're on the same. Yeah, we're all. I put everything on the same playing field. Like let's say I have emotional intelligence, being thoughtful, being attentive, all that stuff. I have it on a on a 95, mm -hmm. but I have the financials on a 98. Would your exes say all the same? All the women you talk to, you think if they had to do a. Uh, a Yelp review of who you are as a man. You think it, what would you think? You think you are who you think you are? Yeah. But right now, I think I'm a more evolved version. I'm mm. doing more when it, like I, with mm. my previous relationship, like I had a roommate, now I live by myself. I mm. had a different car. I have a better car. Mm. I do more in my business. I have more businesses, so it's different. So it'll be a little different. But um, as far as like the intangibles, that's all, that all stays the same. Mm -hmm. But me looking at my life, I don't plan on going to work for anybody. I plan to be an entrepreneur for however long this lasts for. So <laughs> I got to have the money in, in the forefront of my head. And my woman has to understand that. And she has to support that and motivate me to do that. All right. Me too. <laughs> me too. All right. as, as much as I'm saying, like, yeah, the financial shit's not all up there. It's, it's up there, but it's like... It's up there, man. Looks to be right. Hmm? But I mean... Like, say you're taking care of all the financial stuff and everything. Would you still view her as your equal or? Absolutely. She does a lot of things. And at she's that point, she'll still be doing money. a lot of things. But at that, at that point, <laughs> at that point, I'm more, I, I, I plan about. to be making <laughs> a, a, a pretty good amount to be, to be taking care of mostly everything. So when that happens, I'm going to, like I said, I plan to not be doing, not be physically doing anything because time, like you said, time. So I'm trying to make money as I do nothing. So. I plan to do more of that in the future. So I have more time if we have kids. I'll be I'll be doing all the kids stuff. I'll be doing all you the You ever ask your girl how does my how uh how much of my financial contribution matters in this relationship? Yeah. And what was her she answer? I don't care about that. It's a me know. thing. That's what we're not it's a me thing. <laughs> I keep saying it's a me thing. You I started so this by saying when I see somebody you know what's it's you know what's a hilarious? me thing. About this conversation? Was I? I don't know if I was. I think I was a little bit older than you. Nigga, me and LA had the same conversation. We had the same fucking conversation. That's why my mind kind of shifted a little bit. He's like, yo, bro, you just stop putting so much stock into that shit, bro. Like, you do way more than that, but focus on that, yes. But it's yeah. more, but it's, it's still more than that. Yeah, because I. I'm not, uh, not to. But I feel like Don offers mad shit. Like. Okay. Don is also the financial provider and he's the cook. Right? So I think this was around the time where he was looking for a new job. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, bro, you do mad shit. You cook, you clean, you are Mr. Clean, you're the chef, you alleviate the stress, you try to create an atmosphere. Don't you gonna come, baby. My yeah, dad. <laughs> How you know that? You deserve it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> but I'm like, yo, bro, like it's it's it's, it's more a lot, that, bro. bro. It's, it's, it's a lot. Like you gotta you gotta understand that there's there's a lot. And, and don't put my fault to cut your belly. And I know you wanna give yourself that two years as a marker. I wanna say don't, but that it is your life. But 
Yo, control what you can control, yeah, control bro. control what you control, bro. But that was, I'm not going to lie, that was there before she got there. Okay, okay. I'm going to okay. be, I'm, but when you I'm, say I'm approaching. Years, it, now, you, now you base it upon this, her. No, but this is my, no, that's the thing. That's that's what I said before. Okay. Now that I have somebody, it's tangible. I see it, I feel it, it's okay. there. Therefore, I have a different approach to it as opposed to me just saying, oh, yeah, no, in a few years when I, if I meet somebody, I'll maybe switch gears, blah, blah. Now I'm focused on myself, but that's not my reality right now. I am focusing on me and somebody else. Therefore, my mind shifts. I think about things a bit different. Life has a way of jading you, right? Yeah, of course. And I'm going to give you an example. And Don know what I'm, what I'm talking about. A year ago, literally a year ago, a couple weeks ago to a year, it made over a year. Damn. I was leaving a spot mad happy. Right? And I'm like, yo, bro, I think I hit you the next day. I'm like, yo, bro, see, that's the type of shit I want. In the future, you know. a year later, that same motivating factor looks so. It's so unfortunate that I wouldn't wish that on anybody. So, I'm in this space now where things change, people change, situations change. So, what I provide now may not be it a year from now. So, you have to be able to shift and and. and have enough tools in your kit to where if this ain't enough a year from now, I'm also good at this. Like, mm -hmm. I can't be a one-trick pony where all my stock is, or what, for me, is just money. And to me, I think it's easier for us as men mm -hmm. because we don't kind of look for a woman to provide for us. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So <laughs> what I look for... The provision that I look for in a woman is not more so a peace of mind, but nurture. don't disrupt it. I need a nurture. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, I need a nurture. Like I feel like I feel like we do a lot to the point where it's like sometimes you get overwhelmed. I need somebody to like relieve the stress, to calm me down when when times get a little too hectic. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I need a good nurse. And that I'm gonna call it on that one. <laughs> Don I feel like no. Nah, I feel like women in the in the nursing profession are the best caretakers. They don't be it depends. It depends. They're naturally. It like depends that. what they're doing. <laughs> it depends what they're doing because they could they could be busy as shit. They ain't got time to fucking nurture you. That's you know true. Time? But some of them don't work the three days straight. And that lays one. They gonna fuck my nigga. I already got arthritis in my shoulder. I'm gonna fuck my other knee up. <laughs> Don Peasley, Don the camera guy. L.A. is wildin'. Miss Lady, LA wants you to th thrust. That's all I know. <laughs> I'm out of here. Quanster, Squillion, <laughs> Mr. Know It All. I appreciate y'all. Joe, Yo, why you so quiet this name? episode? I felt like you had mad shit to contribute. No, I'm listening. You're chilling this episode, huh? Just chilling. I was chilling for a part of the episode, letting Kwani and, listening. and LA go back and forth. And that's why, not, not that. This goes back to my uh, my point earlier in the uh, in the old episode, uh, the casualties of potting. Oh my God! <laughs> Certain things you can't you just you gotta protect home. Bro, the things we talk about, right, but well, we don't even talk about nothing crazy. That's true. But there's certain things you don't want to deal with when the pod is done. Yeah, on the playback. Absolutely. Like, don't I'm, question me oh, about yeah, what oh, I said no. yeah, because. Oh. One, oh, yeah. I'm not oh. pussy. Don't make it sound like who I am on this mic. It's not who I am on a day-to-day -day verse. And this is not for anybody. <laughs> I'm just talking about for myself, right? So don't make it seem like what I'm saying here is for show because I'm going to say it to you to your face. Or I've said it to you before I've ever said it on the pod. So I'm not a caricature, right? Two, I'll just speak for me. When I'm in a relationship and the woman I'm dating listens to the pod she doesn't listen objectively she listens as if i'm talking to her why would they <laughs> why because you were a fan before right and the same that. advice that i would give you <laughs> is the same advice that i'm speaking on the pod but you taking it as a sub is not a sub <laughs> like, i think i keep shaking my head bro yeah. <laughs> stop doing that say. i'm stop doing that and then I'm going to just say this and we can rap. Please, I beg you. I beg, I beg. Right? And, this is, and I'm not speaking for nobody. I don't know nobody's. Well, no, I can't even say that because then ain't going to be. Ooh, that's going to go into the next episode. Oh, I just thought about that. This is going to go into the next episode. This is why he the best pot on. Right? Here. Right? Ooh, sicko. Yo. Damn, what else about? Oh, what I say here 
is not oh sorry now i know what i'm gonna say we all pod better when we're not in a relationship thank you for listening to what's a good guy that comes out every monday on 8 a.m on Mondays This nigga don't know what he want to say that Yeah, yeah no, but it's <laughs> the Monday truth that. It's the truth Well, for me, I pod better when I'm not in a relationship You don't got to worry I, about nobody Thank you say Thank you Like, you're not going to try to hold me accountable to what I say Because You got to say what I say you, No, not even that Because that comes off as Like, I don't care about your feelings you But if you, you cannot remember. listen objectively That's why I said I don't want to date listeners Because if you had an objective way of listening Prior to you dating me the episode would have still came out the same whether I dated you or not. Mm. So, if I have a of an opinion on why I like yellow rice, now all of a sudden you listening, oh, you like Spanish women? I do not want to. <laughs> I do not want to do that. I do not want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or, 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 you see how I made the, uh, the nurse babe joke? How mm-hmm. my dumb ass would have made the same joke? I'm not getting poisoned. It's a joke. <laughs> Nigga, she, <laughs> she, she ain't feeding me spaghetti. <laughs> Yo. Oh, God. I'm trying to turn my mint into a goat out here, bro. <laughs> Yo, until next time. Yo. <laughs> we got to go. God is good, baby. <laughs>